find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. This week we virtually poke one another on Boss Battle. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 85, a show in which the writers of Insert Coin to Begin get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby F.J. Tom, and joining us as usual, Sorg. Sorg, what did you achieve in gaming this week? Uh, this week I achieved my maybe first Twitch.tv broadcast, thanks to the new um, the new uh, Asphalt 8 update that attached uh, Twitch service to it. So I've been having some with fun. You can actually look me up at Sorgatron Gaming on Twitch. Dot TV, uh, and you can see a couple of my first attempts. A uh, little bit of problems with the audio, uh, so we're going to try it again this weekend. I'm hoping to have some good footage and get an article out, up about it in the uh, very near future. Are we going to see sword explosions? Sword explosions! No, you see that over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show site. Yeah. All right, Riz, what did you achieve in gaming this week? Died a lot. <laughs> I died so many times. Pursuer is a dick. What what game have you been dying in? If we didn't know, Dark Souls Two. Mm-hmm. It, it I'll, I'll get into that later. But it, it I may be sounding like a dick now, but it is I'll, I'll get into it later. <laughs> All right, Chachi, what did you achieve this week? Well, I'll get into it later. No, um, <laughs> this now. week I uh, I beat Skyrim. Well, the main story. Um. So that happened. Um, nice. What else did I come? I uh, I came close to beating uh, Sorg's score on threes. Mm-hmm. Um, Bring it! Still, Bring still, it. still, still I, so far away. I feel so, so how, far, how far away. So, like, how how are we so bad at this game, Bobby? I don't know. I'm dumb. <laughs> I don't. Well, my high score is like seven thousand two hundred ninety. I don't know how that. Matters. Yeah, mine's three thousand, nearly three thousand. I think <laughs> mine's like two thousand something. I don't know how to math. But uh, <laughs> yeah. So you know, I'm getting there. Um, nice. But uh, what else is there? Uh, I think that's about it. Um, I haven't really accomplished much. Um, well, I ran into the guard though. The guard who uh, says that he used to be an adventurer until he took an arrow to the knee. So that's a high achievement. Yeah, yeah, they're everywhere, though. <laughs> well, uh, I, it was the first one I've seen. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that was like when when the when the game first came out, they they were everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if they. No, I, I, the patch I've only seen one. Limited him. That says that. Something, but yeah. Um. Also, the also the the guards that say uh, about a sweet roll. Yeah. They're oh, everywhere, I, too. Yeah, did someone steal your sweet world? Yeah. <laughs> I'd be okay. happier with a belly full of mead. Yeah. Uh, these NPCs of Skyrim and their multiple personalities. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I achieved this week. Guys, guys, I'm going to blow your mind. I beat a game. Wait, let him, let him finish. I beat South Park Stick of Truth. Finished okay. it. Well, I didn't, well that I didn't counts. Complete it 100%. Well, 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 that yeah, counts. It's game. Yeah. It's we'll a game. It, it's Bobby. a full fledged RPG. What are you talking about? It's not a game. You know no, what's I funny? I just said it. we just allowed it. What? What's funny? The amount of games I beat compared to the amount of you, the games you beat, well, yeah, is just know. outrageous. I'm not, I'm not a completionist. I play games to, to just unwind, and if I get to it, I get to it. Yeah. You know? But true. I am working on my next game. Final Fantasy Ten. Dark Souls Two. Nope. Final Fantasy Ten and Ten Two. That is 2. a fun game. I got the limited edition uh, upgrade when I pre-ordered the game back in back in like December. So uh, it finally came this week. So I'll, I'll be I'll be playing that and I'll let you know, you guys know how it is. I'm sure you're gonna love that an- announcement coming up. <laughs> but yeah, um, South Park Stick of Truth was it was amazing. Um, if you haven't played it yet. There's a lot of like stuff for like with the show, like hidden Easter eggs and stuff like that. And there's a lot of video game stuff in it too. Like, um, it's it's basically they took a lot from Skyrim, which is amazing, um, because I guess Matt Trey, Matt and Trey were basically 
they they fell in love with the game uh, Skyrim like most of us did, and they just played the hell out of it. And they based a lot of South Park's mechanics on that game, so it's worth a pickup. Um, and that's about all I did this week in gaming, but that that's pretty huge for me. So, <laughs> all right, Josh, it's time to go around the net. net, net. Video game themed things from around the internet. Net, net. Um, really slow week this week. But I, I managed to find some awesome stuff. Um, first up, if you have uh, three minutes to to spare, uh, you can go over to insertcointobegin.com and check out uh, Cats Playing Fruit Ninja. Um, oh, highly entertaining. Uh, the internet loves cats. Um, oh, yeah. Cats play video games. So, you know, uh, kind of sweet. Um, next up, so there, there's this guy in England who was on uh, the internet, tried to buy uh, a PS3. Um, he paid for it mm-hmm. in full, waited for the package to arrive, and it never did. And apparently this gentleman had the seller's phone number. So oh. upon finding out that he was a, a scammer, this guy took trolling to a whole new level. He sent uh, Shakespeare's complete works <laughs> via text message to his mobile oh. device to this guy to the scammer's uh, mobile phone. Mobile. Um, and it, and an it just so happens that I have a copy of Shakespeare's complete works uh, right here. How do you have a copy of that? Uh, I love Shakespeare. Oh. But, uh... Wow. That's how thick it is printed. That's mm. a Moby Dick. It's the wrong, it's the wrong, wrong guy, Bobby. Um, I know. So, in total, this book, gentleman really says... Uh, 29,305 text messages. Wow. <laughs> Um, it took him a matter of minutes to send them because he copied and pasted it from the internet. I hope that guy had unlimited texting. <laughs> well, that, that, I, I'm assuming he does or else he wouldn't I, I waste, so. or he wouldn't pay his own money to do he this. He copy and pasted from but, the yeah. internet. He hopefully he has like, like some other app that did this for him. Yeah. And so, yeah. You know, like a WhatsApp or something that just translated it over or maybe even like Google voice or something like that. Right. Well, um, the thing is, as you know, standard text messages are 160 characters long. <laughs> mm-hmm. So he's receiving them one text at a time. Wow. Oh, man. For 29,305 text messages. Is it done already or is it still going on? I, I'm sure I'm sure it's done. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you go over at insertcointobegin.com, I have a link to the article uh, to a British news site where you can see the breakdown of text per plays. And, and yeah, they, they sat there. Someone sat there and figured it out, and it shows how many texts per play he uh, the, the scammer got. So PPPs. I would move on to something like War and Peace next. I, I would keep going. I wouldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, next up, uh, Cinefix is back, as always. Nice. And this time, they took the styling of River City Ransom and applied it to Happy Gilmore. Okay. Um, to create a three-minute-long version of 8-bit Happy Gilmore. Awesome. And it is simply amazing. <laughs> so I, I definitely recommend you check that out. And like I said, it was a it was a slow uh, uh, video game themed week. So uh, other than like actual news stories, but that's not what that post is. So yeah, go over to insertcointobegin.com dot com and tune in next week for video game themed things from around the internet. Net net net. All right. Back to you, Bobby. All right. Um. Guys, uh, it's time for things you should be made aware of. Um, our first story is about a new Street Fighter character who is an old Street Fighter character who nobody expected. Um, Capcom announced that um, there, there 
are five new characters for Ultra Street Fighter 4, um, which is which should be out sometime as a downloadable content pack for or or just a reg or a standard issue game. Um, the new characters are Elena, Hugo, Poison, and Relento, which were previous previously announced, and they finally revealed the last character, and the last character is DiCapre. Do you guys remember who DiCapre is? No. no. <laughs> it is one of M. Bison's clones that Cammy came from. What? Yeah, from uh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Huh. She so was a non-playable oh. character. Okay. Uh, and basically, yeah, it's Cammy with a mask, pretty much. Um, huh. Everybody... Ev- like most people were really disappointed because there's there and, and one site actually made a video with like nine other Street Fighter characters that they should have released for the game. Um, like Skullamania and a couple other ones. But the, the one everybody was hoping would be one would was the final fight character Mike Hagar. Yeah. He's never been in a Street Fighter game and they have like Cody and Guy and all those other ones from Final Fight and they never included Mike Hagar into it and they have his model already ready from Marvel vs. Capcom 3 so why didn't they include him and he's also been in Saturday Night Slam Masters yeah, exactly well, any any one of those characters would be great too not just some like girl with a mask that looks like Cammy standing in the background of a shot yeah, we had we had this discussion all the time when it came to like who they left out in let's say uh, Super Smash Brothers, and and you know one of the big names that was announced this year was Lil Mac. Yeah, which is great. Right. And Lil Mac has been in Nintendo for how long? <laughs> Probably longer than than all those guys you mentioned combined. So it 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 give it some time. They'll probably show up somewhere around here. Who knows? Um, here's Capcom's uh, a little uh, statement from Capcom about the Capre. Um, making her first brief appearance in street, at a Street Fighter game as a non-playable character in Street Fighter Alpha 3, where she was one of M. Bison's dolls, the Capre now joins the fight. Although a partial mask hides a giant burn mark located on the Russian beauty's face, challengers will be scarred by her quick and elusive scramble moves. As well as her psycho power infused attacks, which allow her to be share her pain with the, her opponents. So basically, it's Cami slash female Vega. Yes. Only and Russian, mixed with Zanky. So <laughs> good on you, good on you, Capcom for releasing a character nobody really wanted <laughs> or knew All right. about. All right, Riz, I think you have our next story about uh, your experiences with uh, Dark I... Souls Two. I... Well, let, let me start off by saying the last time I checked, there was 37,134,888 deaths worldwide. And this is the second or third week of its existence. Every It, it, it begs you to not play this game and speedrun it. And there's a, there's a good reason why because when i play this game i learn something new every time like i've i've been playing it non-stop i was playing it when the show is being prepared up right now and uh i was shocked to know that i can go another way in another another direction and that's the cool thing about it. you don't have to go straight ahead to the next boss to your you know death you can go towards somewhere else. You and can go fight way. some other things <laughs> and die. You can go talk to some people and die. You can do you can do so <laughs> many so much other things in this game and die and die. <coughs> Sit down in a chair, die. Oh, no. But the thing is, I'm playing this game. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing this game, and I and every time I'm playing. I'm thinking I should stop playing this game. I'm not getting anywhere, and then I continue playing this game. It, it's it, it makes me want to play this game and beat it, and then I die. But it it it's not it's just so well done. 
and so visually stunning that dying so many times is just icing on the cake. <laughs> That's it's just pretty like hard a little do. small tidbit of like information, like little small little pin needle when you can just look at how good this game looks. I've played bad games and I've stopped playing bad games. And do they, there are hmm? Do they do they still have the traps that people can set, like in the hints that people can drop in the game, like they did yes. in the first one? And I that's did a, that's uh, always amusing. And I actually have a hint on my Instagram uh, account. I posted on there after I beat the boss, the first boss, which, uh, by the way, was a giant tree. <laughs> Named Groot? I, I fought a I giant tree and died. Yes. I died many times by that tree. It's actually the tree from uh, – He jams, he jams some apples in an unpleasant space. It's the oh, tree from Ocarina of Time. Off, <laughs> he takes off his branch and beats you with it. The big Iku tree. Applesauce, yeah. bitch. But yeah, there, there are there are uh, still hints in the game that you can use. Riz, are you playing a game or drinking Angry Orchard Cider? <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> still, <Dick> cider. I <laughs> still love this game. I can't say that because I'm losing a lot. I can just say that because the game is awesome because I can go anywhere, I can do anything, and when I'm playing it, I feel like there's something new that I'm missing. And then I have to die 500 <laughs> times before I can find it. All right. Yeah. Um, oh, you have more? No. Okay. Uh, we're going to move on to our next I'm one. Go uh, play this which, game now. Which, <laughs> and die. Don't, don't pay attention to the rest of the show and just play your game. Yes. All right, we're going to uh, move on to our next story. Oh, I which, died already. Which Riz died. Riz died. Oh, oh, oh one more thing. Oh, okay. There is no pause. There is no pause in this game. There's no pause? No pause. Wow. It, it wants you to die. I don't remember if there was no pause in the first one or not. So, all right. Um, Raise the sun. But uh, today, today, today marked a kind of sad uh, day in in uh, recent video game history. Um, today was the last day, or the last download download no, that downloadable content for um, Bioshock Infinite. Um, Burial at Sea Part Two came out today, uh, which is actually the last uh, Infinite or um, Irrational Games downloadable content as we know it. Because the as, we, as you know the, the studio is closing down, we're well, not closing down, but they're down they downsized and they're not going to make big games anymore. Um, they're going to yeah. stick to um, smaller games. But uh, yeah, I, I, I and you can download this on Xbox or PlayStation Three, um, or Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty or PlayStation Three rather. Um, it's up to six hours long. Um, it basically depends on the way you play the game. Um, Ken Levine said uh, if you just rush through the story. It's going to be about six hours. If you take your time and explore things, it's going to be a little longer. Um, but yeah, I, I'm picking up the, the downloadable content because I have the season pass. Um, but if you don't have the season pass, it's fifteen dollars uh, standard DLC. So um, do you, I know you guys? Some of you guys had uh, Bioshock Infinite. Are you going to pick this one up? I don't have it anymore. What? Wait, I don't think I have it anymore. Let me look. How dare you? Oh, I do have it. Never mind. Okay. So I'm Never probably mind. going to go through the entire DLC if it, when I play if I play it again. Mm -hmm. uh, again, and I also want to play through the story mode as well because it was that deep. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I won't die a lot. Uh, but just it does look like a pretty interesting uh, DLC to have. Yeah, the whole thing is set in Rapture, so mm -hmm. uh, it's not set in Columbia, which is kind of different, but it's it's kind of cool at the same time. So you get to see no, early Columbia and what, early Rapture and what, what it this, was like. Is this dropping the characters from Columbia into Rapture? Yes. Okay. You actually play as Elizabeth in this one. Okay. <clears throat> now, is it a which totally is different like game game, or is it just like another add-on to? 
It's an add-on, but it also acts as a separate as a separate game. Oh, like it's a, it's a, it's a separate storyline. It's not the same Bioshock's Infinite storyline. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's it's more of like a crime uh, detective story, like a noir detective story. So. Examine the lemon, like, Riz. It's, it's not Did like LA noir. That, Riz. Bobby? Did you just say that? <laughs> it's examine not, it's the not lemon. Like you do not examine lemons. Although you pick up hot dogs from dead hobos. Possibly. Examine the hot dogs. <laughs> Is it interesting? Oh, garbage can food. <laughs> oh. All right. And that's the show title. <laughs> oh, garbage can food. <laughs> All right, we're going to move on to our final story, which is also going to be part of our final round. The big news from today is that Facebook is acquiring Oculus RV. Or VR, not RV. RV? <laughs> RV. Oh, man. Oh, That's the coolest Mark recreational wants- vehicle ever. Mark Zuckerberg, Mark Zuckerberg wants to travel around the world in his RV. No, uh, yeah. Oculus VR, vir- virtual reality company that makes Oculus Rift, uh, they're purchasing it for $2 billion. Um, wow. Not not quite $2 billion, but it's uh, actually $400 million in cash and 23.1 shares of Facebook stock, which is about, worth about $1.6 billion. Um, I don't know how many Facebook points that travel or that converts to. So, so uh, pretty much. Crap ton. <laughs> So, so pretty much they just put so much in – Facebook just made a pawn deal. It was pretty much just like a pawn or a pawn stars type thing. I'll give you you know, million in tr- a billion in trade and, and money and another billion in trade for the shop. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Or why not? Okay, deal. But their but their trade was for uh, shares of Facebook, which are worth one point six billion dollars. <laughs> that is true. But um, uh, Facebook's been like acquiring all these companies lately, why? and I I don't know how they're gonna use Oculus uh, Rift. I mean, I I, and they said they said that it's gonna operate as its own separate entity, like it was before. So nothing's really gonna change for the Rift. But I just wonder. I mean, does Facebook see the potential in this, and just they just want that money from it? They just want money. That's why they yeah, bought like pretty much. all the other things that they bought. They don't use those. They just buy them out of the blue. Mm-hmm. It's not like they're going to have like a giant video of – oh, god. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. I didn't say it yet. A giant Oculus Rift version of Farmville. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Virtual farming has come to – <laughs> you can just go out and farm on yourself. <laughs> Damn it! <sighs> but the, like, no. okay. The the final battle question is um actually, what uses could Facebook have for Oculus Rift? Um, do you think we're gonna be virtually poking our friends? Well, I, I, this is actually we discussed this uh, a little bit on on AwesomeCast earlier this evening. Mm-hmm. And uh, one thing, I guess, in a conference call, uh, Mike Zuck- or Mark Zuckerberg did say we want to put Facebook ads on it. So this is another platform uh, for them to put their ads. Um, okay. So it could just continue as usual. It's just they know they own another thing that if this takes off, they have something huge that they can they can get mm-hmm. their ad revenue from. Mark Zuckerberg Probably didn't get where he is knows. by being an idiot. No, no, no absolutely not. Not at all. <laughs> exactly. Um, he's a, he's a I, smart kid. I just think that it's another another tool um, for Mark to make money from. Mm-hmm. I, I, I mean, I, like you already said, he's not dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, he knows that he'll find some use for it. Um, whether we have a use for it, I don't know, but he doesn't care. He knows, knows people are going to yeah. buy it. He knows there's going to be people who come and want that machine to use. And he and wants he to know, be man. that guy. But again, the people who use Oculus Rift already probably have a Facebook. Mm-hmm. They already know like things going on in Facebook. So it's kind of pointless, maybe, but it, I, I can see where he's coming from. It's not pointless because I, I think, I think the big thing, and this is outside gaming talk, 
But Facebook is trying to kind of diversify because uh, they, much like uh, you see Google getting into all these different things, because the thing that makes them money now may not be the thing that makes them money 10 years from now. So they need to have something else to be able to jump onto. Um, Microsoft, for instance, gets, gets kind of torn apart because um, they didn't jump on the mobile bandwagon when they were supposed to. So mm -hmm. Facebook wants to not miss something like that some miss the, some big shift in the industry like that right um and if this means that they get into video games in a certain way um and i don't think you know you know everybody says oh it's going to be farmville just like the twitch was like oh you know all anybody does is play candy crush so that's what we're going to twitch um there are different applications for Excellent. this there are different applications no, but it's not just you know, i hear this on other shows too people jump to that that kind of you know, There's obvious candy. conclusion with it. Um, There's candy flying at my face. Exactly. <laughs> but but this already has the industry's mindset. All the big developers are into it or to quit their jobs at good companies like id Software to go work mm. here. Um, mm. And now it has money behind it. That's the big point here is Facebook. It, I look at this more of an investment, like a more of a venture capital investment by fo Facebook than a shift of like a f Facebook direction, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's betting on the future. It's like why in the hell are Google building robots now? Yeah. It's Wait, it's the same uprising. idea. What's that? Oh, for the uprising, for of the course. Uprising. There you go. And this thing's been the the darling of the video game community now for a good while now. Yeah. Um. Basically, it's it's. Once this thing gets into the market, who knows the potential? Um, you can use it on PC probably, any console. I, I mean, the sky's the limit for this thing. Is this going? Do you think this is going to be the, what the Kinect was going to be? I think it's still, it's still looking for its place, isn't it? Really? I it's mean, possible, is there yeah. even, there's not even a consumer version of this, right? We were just looking no, at not yet, yeah. we were just it looking at a Sony it. version of, of this kind of hardware. Uh, before Awesome Cast tonight, uh, The Verge has a pretty good show-off piece from it. It, it still feels gimmicky. Um, you know, everybody gets their hands on this version, says it's the one. But again, we don't have. They're they're having trouble selling a connect to everybody. How are they going to? Where's the killer app for us to decide we want to put this thing on our face? <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> no, but I, I do agree with you on that one. There's nothing yeah. really to go out and go, go out and buy one right now. No, mm -hmm. but in in the future, there will be. Obviously, somebody oh, yeah. believes in it, though. Like if they put Skyrim on this thing, like I've seen tech demos of them do, mm -hmm. uh, I would sign up immediately. We were talking about the Legend of Zelda, the original one yeah, on yeah. this Oculus Rift. Yep. Was it? Wait, was it Legend of Zelda or is it? Legend there's of, there's uh, several different Zeldas one. on this actually. Mm -hmm. But it was amazing how that looked, mm -hmm. and, and we're talking and about the act, of the graphics from Zelda, the first one. And, and thinking just like not even the immediate that like, but the immediacy. One one impressive thing they pointed out with the Sony version of this, and I think it's in in, in immersion or something like that is what they're calling it. Um, but like in one at, at the end of the tech demo, uh, a T Rex reaches out and eats you. Right, so that oh, whole no. that whole like and immediacy of something coming at you, I think I think makes things a little different, um, and, and and those are the kind of experiences they need to go for. But again, like you're you're finding with Connect with touch screens, you know, you have to find something that fits, you know, something that doesn't feel gimmicky, something that feel, feels kind of second second nature, um, like they're showing a cockpit space battle. That kind of makes sense. You're sitting there looking around and you're controlling the thing with the controller. Um, and, and hopefully those are the kinds of things that they're trying to figure out right now with the Oculus Rift and all the people they have on board with it. Because they another, did. Another article I read today mm -hmm. um, said about how the potential to use this as like a, uh, you can like go on virtual vacations. Yeah. Uh, as, a, as a calming tool, like uh, as far as like meditation and stuff like that. Um, I think that those would be good uses for it too. I mean, the sky's the limit for it, it just, and it's not just video games. Yeah, yeah. So, certainly, well, think, you have to hope, we have to Facebook wish the limit do. isn't. We have to wish the limit isn't the sky. It has to go higher. Mm -hmm. Space. We need to feel this, you know. Because this is virtual reality we're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
we need to figure out what we need to do this for. It can't just be like a meditation tool for fifteen hundred. Well, no, it's dollars. not gonna. It's not just gonna be that. It it, it could be yeah, anything you want it to be. The, really, all I'm saying is you have to hope that this is more than just what we think it's for. At some point, the marketing think, has to take over on this. Yes. Introducing like, the we heart sensor. <laughs> Like, are we going? We're not. Gonna, we're probably not going to watch, you know, Netflix or no. Hulu Plus are on this. We're going to watch. I would. We're gonna do, but, but, but then again, I, I would. They, but there, there, there wouldn't be anything on there. It would just be like a. Uh, oh. They, 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 they had. They said people were watching Seinfeld episodes with it on, and you can actually look around and look in Jerry's apartment and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So I like, mean, you could watch have an IMAX you theater to. in your face. Think about that idea. Think about that idea. Like you're playing Half Life Two. The conversation's going on, but you're able to move around, and you don't have to be looking at them. Mm -hmm. um, I, I could see that in a kind of movie sort of situation. But really, let's be honest. This thing isn't going to take off until porn's adapted it. Yes. Maybe for Half Life Three. It's probably it probably already happened, sort. There, so there's probably. Red Tube is probably on this right now. <laughs> Razors, Naughty America. How do I know all these? <laughs> uh, research. I just, yeah, yeah. I just pointed out something about myself, didn't I? Congratulations, <laughs> perv. <laughs> all right. Well, that's gonna um, do it for us. Oh, good, Chachi. You have something? Right. Yeah, I was never able to input my uh, opinion oh, on this. Um, you guys kept talking and talking and talking, and I couldn't butt in as was. Um, I think it's dead. What? Dead? Wow. Yeah, we'll, we'll never wow. see it. No? Um, regardless of what everyone thinks about Facebook uh, needing a way to make money, no. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg is the only one that needs to make money, and he has enough to last him in four generations. Yeah. Mark Zuckerberg just bought Oculus Rift so he can use Oculus Rift. Yeah, might be. No, that's He's exactly like, it. Do, I, 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 I honestly think that's why he bought them. He has no plans for this. And, and uh, if Facebook owns it, then that's what Facebook is going wants to use it for. Is Facebook? Mm -hmm. And honestly, he bought this so. He didn't have to try and get laughed at when he bought Google. <laughs> Remember when he tried to do it when Skype he bought a phone? Remember when he tried What's to that? do a phone with Facebook? Yeah. How bad that, that was. was. A maybe, they'll, maybe they'll use Skype integration. I, I honestly think it's dead. I, I think we're never going to see this. I would, I would not want to use Skype. Because the other guy would not look right. Because they would have the same goggles on and everything. Okay. It kind of would look weird. That's just me. That's true. Yeah. So you know, it'd be right. cool to look around and like in in their apartment or in the, in the in the space that they're using it for, but not to see them face to face. So Skype, no. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to do it for us this week. <laughs> that's going to do it for us this week. Um, Chachi, you want to plug Chachi Plays? Yes, ChachiPlays.com. $7,500 goal goes to uh, the Dreams of Hope and the Toonsium. Um, both are worthy organizations, nonprofit organizations. Um, one helps uh, lesbian, gays, et cetera, et cetera, in um, feeling not so outcast. Um, by using performing arts and other arts. Uh, Toonsam is one of three nonprofit cartooning museums in the world. And uh, they operate strictly on donations. So uh, help us meet our goal at chachiplays.com. All right, click that donate button and get the donating. Um, you can follow us on Twitter on in, at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily, and you can join us live every Tuesday night at eight o'clock on Live.SorgatronMedia.com for at Sorgatron at the the Riz at Chachi Play or at Chachi Says. I'm Bobby FJ Town. Game over. Yeah.